good morning, year nine, or good afternoon. Uh, we're going to carry on with our linear relationships. Yesterday, we looked at a midpoint of an interval, and we found the midpoint of an interval using a diagram. Today, what we're going to do is we are going to look at finding the midpoint of an interval using the mean of the two points at either end of the interval. Okay, let's go and have a look. So midpoint using the endpoints. Okay, so example one. Find the midpoint of the line segment joining points A, 1 is 3, 2, and B, 7 minus 3. Now for this example, um, I have graphed the points. And so we found the points. We've got minus 3, 2. Remember, minus 3 go that way, 2 go that way, here we are, and 7 minus 3, so 7 head that way, minus 3 go down, here we are, 7 across, minus 3 down. Now it's asked us to find the midpoint of those, and what we're going to do is we're going to have a look by inspection, we, are, we can see that, sorry, I'm just getting rid of my school. We can see, or we learnt yesterday, that as we go across, as we the midpoint's going to be here somewhere. In the midpoint, the position on the XY is halfway between the two points. And it's the same for vertical. The vertical position, the Y coordinate, is somewhere halfway as well. So what we found yesterday was midpoint M is halfway between A and B and we found that the X coordinate is halfway, the X coordinate of the midpoint is halfway between the X coordinate of A and the X coordinate of B. So what we can do is we can just average those two. So if we average two things, we add them together and then we divide by two. So we have a look and we want to find the x coordinate is the first one of a is minus 3. And we want to find the first coordinate of b, which is 7. So add them together, minus 3 plus 7, divide by 2 to get the halfway point. 4 on 2 is 2. So we actually know that the midpoint is going to be at 2. And once we've found it, we can place it on the line, but we want to find out what the actual value is. So we actually know already, because we know x equals 2, that this thing is here. I'm going to give it a great big splotch, because I probably didn't get my line exactly in the right spot. So the y-coordinate of m will be halfway between the y-coordinates of a and b. Now my y-coordinate is of this one, of a is the second one, is 2. There's my 2. And my second one, my y-coordinate of point B is minus 3, add minus 3, and we're finding the point halfway between the average of them, so we're dividing by 2. 2 minus 3 is minus 1, divided by 2 is minus a half. So my midpoint is 2 and minus a half. Now you can also, if you want to, write that down as 2 and minus 0 0.5. It really is up to you. So that is my midpoint, and I can see that my line's not exactly in the right spot, but it's pretty close. Okay, so what we're going to do is instead of having to draw a diagram every time, what we're going to do is we're going to use what we've learnt here and what we learnt yesterday, and we're not going to bother drawing any diagrams anymore. We're just going to use the two endpoints. So let's have example two. Find the midpoint MXY of the line segment joining these pairs of points by finding the midpoint of the x-coordinates and the midpoint of the y-coordinates. So our first one, um, x, y, second one, x, y. So our two x's, 1 and 5. 1 plus 5 divided by 2 to find halfway between them. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And our y's, so our y's, looking at them, is 0 and 4. So we've got 0 plus 4 divided by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. So my midpoint 
is the x below found and the y below found, 3, 2. Okay, let's have a look at our next point. Our next point is given to us by um, minus 3, minus 2, 5, 3. So minus 3 is my x, 5 is my x, and then we have minus 2 on the first point is my y, and 3 on the second point is my y. So looking at my x's first, I'm just going to get those two points, add them together. So minus 3 and 5. Minus 3 plus 5, div or divided by 2 to find the average. 2 on 2 is 1. Now to find my y's, I need the second points. I've got minus 2 and I've got 3. So I've got minus 2 plus 3 or divided by 2 to get the average is minus 2 plus 3 is the same as 3 minus 2. You can put in your calculator. So we've got 1 divided by 2 a half. And as I said, up, you can either write that as a half or you can write it as 0 0.5. I don't mind and neither is anybody else. Both of them will be correct. Collecting my points together, I need to grab the x point I just found. The x point I found was, let's go with red. The x point I found was um, 1. Here it is. And the y point I found was 0 0.5. So m is equal to 1 and 0 0.5. Okay, so for today, what I've done is I've just suggested that you can do these four exercises as a minimum. Now, if you get through those and you've still got plenty of time, have a go at the other ones of your choice. Here is one for those people that want to try something a bit more challenging. Inherently, I guess, anything that is a worded question is a bit more challenging. So some of you might do those four and then come down and do these. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to set up an exit ticket, which means that I am going to do another one of those Microsoft Forms. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to ask you to put the answers to those first four questions in. I will um, make another section. I will let the answer to this one go in as well for those ones that want to have a go at it. And that will just let me see how everyone is going with this topic and um, who is struggling and who is doing well. Thanks very much. Have a great day and a great weekend. This will be the last time I see you this week.